Good evening guys, welcome to class. In this session we're going to, it's going to be a reading session again, we're going to look at an article uh, about a reporter who went to North Korea on holiday. So it's entitled On Holiday in North Korea. We had a discussion earlier in one of my sessions about North Korea. We were talking about um, if it really is a threat to the West, if it's a threat to South Korea, etc. Um, so now we're going to talk about uh, someone who went on holiday to North Korea. And if, for example, this sounds like a good idea, yes, yeah? so if we should go uh, consider going there on holiday. Uh, before we start, I'm going to send you my Facebook page now because now I have a Verbling Facebook page where uh, you can, well, you can like it, and we can basically communicate in between classes, and uh, you can suggest ideas for topics you'd like to discuss. Uh, you can post feedback, etc. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, it's a way of keeping in touch with me between lessons, so I hope you can all um, like that and uh, interact with me uh, in between and stuff. Um, so now I'll send you an article, the article that we're going to, to read and discuss um, in this in this session. Um, so I hope lots of people can join in, and it will be an active session as as usual. Okay, we'll see. Uh, so it's quite quite interesting. Basically, a reporter went to uh, North Korea, and it's just basically t telling us her experiences. Um, yeah, about her holiday so to say. Okay, so, uh, if there is a war, there is no holiday, so hurry before it, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, okay, Mira, hopefully you're joining in, we'll, we'll discuss this, yes, <laughs> cool, 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 um, hopefully lots of people can join in as well. So if you look, for example, at the first picture, I think it's very, very interesting, this country, in terms of how, uh, yeah, straight it is, at how military it is, you know, it's very, uh, it seems to be very rigid. Uh, but we'll, we'll see if it's a nice place. O Oil's Gap is writing, Oil's Gap, can you tell me your real name? What is it? Or is it Oil's Gap? Yeah, I don't want to judge. Yeah, so Oil's Gap sounds like an interesting name. But Mira, that's definitely your name. I know you. Um, I guess you're joining in. So we've got to wait a couple more minutes and we are on. We have lots of people. We have, who do we have? We have, uh, one second. Me, me, me. Okay, you always want to go first, Mira. You always want to go first. Yes. <laughs> go first then, tell us. About what? Uh, tell us the life story. No, no, just say name and where you come from. Okay, Mira from Egypt. Mira from Egypt, okay? Remember this yeah. face. Remember this cat face. Alejandro, how are you? Hello. Alejandro. I'm Hi, fine. Can, you, can you hear? Yes. Perfect. Is this the first time we've spoken? I think it maybe could be the first time we've spoken. Is that true? No, no. It, that is my third time. Oh, okay, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, <laughs> and where do you come from, sorry? Sorry? Where do I you come from again? More. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of background noise, guys. Uh, Alejandro, where do you come from again, sorry? Okay, I'm from Ecuador. I live Ecuador. in Guayaquil. Cool, yes. okay, welcome, welcome, Alejandro. Thank you. Is this? Hi. Hi, how are you? <coughs> I'm fine, and you? Not too bad. I recognize your first name, uh, but have we spoken before? Uh, Vargas. Your name oh. is Vargas, okay. So no, my, my, last, first... my last name is Vargas. Okay. Um, Mo Moises, I recognize your first name, yeah? Have we spoken before, or is it the first time we've spoken? No, it's the first time we'd sp uh, we're speaking. Cool. And where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Great, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. And we have oil. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh, actually, I'm studying petroleum engineering. Okay, that's good. No, uh, we have a person called oil. Yeah, so that was the the oil. We have someone called oil. Um, and Hi. you want to be called oil? Hello, oil. Hi. Hello, teacher. 
Must be. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Um, okay, thanks. Perfect. Um, so Oil Olivia, that's a cool oh, name, yes. yeah? So that's a that's a nice name. Uh, and we also have Rosa. What? Why? Rosa, can you hear us? Yeah. Hello. Okay, nice to speak with you again. We have spoken before, that's that's for certain, yeah? We've spoken. Yes, of course. Could you remind everyone where you come from though? Yeah, I'm from Spain. Perfect, cool. Um, so, Thomas. Hello. I can guess where you're from, yeah? So you've got you've got it in the photo. Uh, okay, Thomas, welcome. So from the Czech Republic. It looks really beautiful, yeah? So it looks really, really green and stuff. And we have Vincenzo. Good. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yep, yep, yep. Can you hear me? Yep, yep. Okay, nice to speak with you. Yes. Nice to speak with you again. Do you hear me? We spoke a couple of weeks ago, I think. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Do you hear me? Perfect. Yes. Great. Okay, so um, okay. for those who have uh, just joined, what yes, or, nice or whatever, to speak with you. Too. I have now attached a link to my yeah. Facebook page for Verbling. Feel free to all add me, and then basically we can talk in between classes. We can share ideas, suggest uh, things, um, and it should be a, a good, a useful way of staying in contact with you guys. Okay, uh, so if you want, you can add me. I've put the link onto uh, onto Facebook or onto Verbling chat. Okay, so uh, we also have Rertan. Rertan, can you hear us? Okay, we can't hear you just yet. Just check your microphone settings, and we'll come back to you. Uh -huh. yeah? Oh, it's working. Can, yes. can you hear me? Yep, it's working. Nice to meet uh, you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, yeah. Cool. This, this is the first time we've spoken, I think, yeah? Sorry? Is this the first time we've spoken? Uh, yes, uh, first time. Cool. And where are you from? Uh, I am from Turkey. Great. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What, nice to welcome. meet you too. And I th oh, we've also got Keen. Yeah, Keen snuck in somewhere. Hi everyone. Hi Keen. We have spoken before, haven't we? Yeah, I uh, I participated before. Was it? Cool. Okay. Uh, Good that you're back. And where are you from, Keen? Again. I am uh, I am from Egypt. Egypt, cool. Uh -huh. Okay, so a good, good mix of nationalities and things. Okay, that's that's interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to send you the article we're going to read and discuss today, and this is about um, North Korea and going on holiday in North Korea. Quick question: Does everyone know about North Korea? So, uh, let's ask Alejandro. Do you know about North Korea? This question is for Keen or? For Alejandro. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know so much about uh, North Korea, but in the future I would like to travel <laughs> for over there. <laughs> so you'd like to travel there, yeah, to see what's inside, yeah? because they're talking about it a lot at the moment. But you'd like to see actually what it's like inside, yeah. I think that Korea is a, a beautiful country. But uh, I, I don't know so much about this, country, about okay. that country. Cool. Let's have a discuss. Um, and Keen, what would you say? Do you know much about uh, it? Uh, I know that uh, uh, North North Korea and South Korea, and there is a problem between them, and so on. Okay, yeah, so there's a problem at the moment with North Korea war. and war, war and things war. like that, yeah, so um, not many people know so much about North Korea because it's kind of, yeah, away from every, everyone else. Um, okay, Moises, do you know about North Korea? Mm, actually, I just know that the problem that this country has with uh, the United States mm, so, because yeah. I, I, I have been reading a uh, uh, a kind of a kind of information about that. Um, I don't know. I, I think there is a little country, you know, but they it has a a powerful arms, 
nuclear. Nuclear. Uh, I, I just know that. So weapons, yeah. So they they have no. a, weapons. They have a dangerous nuclear I I sector and things. Uh, Vincenzo, did you want to add anything? Yes, yes. I I uh, I said my call my call of that is a uh, uh, Philippine and uh, Philippine. How do you say Philippine? Philippine. Uh, North North. Uh, North Korea is against South Korea. South Korea is very poor. Instead, North Korea is very rich. Uh, so they are always in uh, they are always in struggle uh, one another. You know, in conflict. Yeah, they're, they're in conflict. In, in conflict. Uh, they are in, always in conflict. I know only this, and I know about what is what's happening, what's happening now with the USA uh, about uh, how do you say a part of uh, where uh, USA build chips. You know, I don't know the, the state. How Austin, we say it was Austin, where there is a big industry of chips. You know. You know? So, uh, chips, uh, Samsung, no, no, Samsung, no, or something uh, of South Korea, South Korea uh, uh, industry, the UK industry, you know, uh, of chips. Chips, yeah, computer chips and things like that. So, to the computer like chips, yes. Uh, say, so, I, I, I read that they had pointed the, the missile, missile, Missile toward this this place because uh, they don't like that there is a, a so much uh, a so greater a, a industry in the USA. Yeah, basically, there's a bit of a problem, yeah, because the systems are different. Yes, yeah? so the systems are different. They're not friends. Thomas, have you heard? Thomas, mm -hmm. have uh, you have you heard about North Korea? Yes. Okay, what do you know? Uh, I know where it uh, lies, North Korea. And not much, but <coughs> because the situation in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so there it could be one things like that, yeah? So, um, would you ever travel there, Thomas? Thomas, would you be interested in traveling to North Korea? Uh, yes, uh, well, the things uh, settle down, maybe. Okay, to, to see what it's like and things. Uh, there's a bit of background noise, guys, yeah? So I can hear some background noise. Just check check, check your settings and things. Hopefully it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, Rosa, what about you? Um, North Korea has, has um, a dictatorial system. Yeah. Yeah, and it's very difficult to live in there because you need to do uh, something that the system uh, said you. Yeah, it decides what you do, yeah? So basically, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's communist or whatever, but uh, there's certainly uh, some kind of dictator or something, um, and he decides what, what happens. And they have uh, very, very low salaries, like $40 per month or something like that, yeah? So uh, they're struggling getting food and things like that. Um, so, oil... Oil, do you know? Hello, teacher. Oil, did you understand what we were talking about? I, I do not know North Korea, but I know South Korea. Okay, do you know something about this? I don't know North Korea. About North Korea, did you say? Yes. Okay, yes. So we're talking we're talking about North Korea, um, and in the article I'm going to send you, or I've already sent you, is basically about um, yeah. If you open this up, it's about someone who travelled into North Korea. It's a country that's very very difficult to travel to, um, unattended. You have to basically follow someone. Yeah, someone takes you to the places they want to show you. Uh, yeah, so you have to go with an organised group. You cannot just go there and think, right, okay, I'll go to a beach or something. You have to organize it. It's, everything's very, very carefully planned. 
of the trip. So it's not somewhere you can go and just do what you like. Yeah, you, you can travel there, but you have to be very um, controlled. Yeah. So um, we're going to read this. Abdella has just joined us. Yeah, Abdella. I'm just going to turn on the light. One second. Can you hear us, Abdella? Yeah? Can you hear us? Hello, Abdullah? Hello? Okay, can you hear us? Okay. Hello, can you hear? Yes, thank you. Perfect, okay. Good to, good to speak with you. Where are you from, sorry? Uh, I'm from Morocco. Morocco, great, okay. Nice, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Okay, do you know much about um, North Korea? Have you heard much about North Korea? Not very much. Okay, no worries. So we're going to read this article. We're going to discuss it a bit in a minute, okay? So, um, did everyone see this article I put in the Verbling chat box? Yeah? Did everyone manage to open it? No, 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 no. In the, okay, in the meantime, I'll, I'll put it also on Google chat so you can see this. And also, I'm sharing my screen. Uh, so okay. you should be able to see it one way or another. Okay, so um, can everyone see my screen, I wonder? Okay. So the, it's entitled On Holiday in North Korea. So what we're going to do is we're going to alternate who reads, meaning one person reads and then someone else reads out loud. And in this, I'll correct your pronunciation. I'll, we'll talk about new words okay. and we'll clarify the topic. Okay, who would like to start reading? Uh, me. <coughs> who is me? Who said? Uh, Moses. Please, Moses. Okay. Uh, I it's. Can I start with the young woman? Yeah. The young woman, yes, please. Okay. The young woman waiting in the arrivals, her looks anxious, her small mouth pinched and, and it's smiling, and it's smiling. Every button on the jacket of her pink tweed suit is done up. Every hair on her head is combed, is combed precisely oh. into place. Yes, for me, the tidy features of her big spitty clay face, all around her, people thronged and hollered, chicken backs laughing and loudly introducing themselves to one to one another. Okay, stop. Let's discuss. So, uh, precisely, yeah? Can you say that? Precisely. Precisely? Okay. Precisely. Uh, anything else that you said? Precisely. Right, anxious. Anxious, yeah, you said that, okay. Okay, let's talk about uh, this first of all. What did you understand, yeah? So what did you understand from reading that, that um, small text? Sorry, what is the meaning of precisely? Precisely, does anyone yeah. know? I'll write this yeah. down. Okay, precisely. So precisely, yeah, so it, it appeared, uh, for example, does anyone know or shall I explain? Yes? Yeah, so. Yes, I mean. Okay, so precisely means exactly everything's perfect. Yeah, precisely into place. Perfectly into place. Yeah? Okay, thank so you. So every hair on her head. To be precise, for example, you could say it's 20, well, in, in middle of Europe, it's 20 past 6. Or you can say, to be precise, it's 18, 20 and six seconds. That would be very, very precise. It's very exact. Yeah? So precise is like exact. I'll write this down. Yeah. Accurate. Accurate, Keen said. Yeah, perfect. Uh, precisely, exactly, accurately. Yeah? All these things. Vincenzo, did you understand? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. okay so you, you understood? Thomas, do you understand? Uh, what does anxious mean? Uh, sorry? Hol hol looks I can't, Thomas, I can't hear you so well. I'm not sure if it's a, a connection issue or, or something, yeah, but I, I'm not, not uh, I can't hear you so well. Uh, but we'll come back. Um, I'm assuming it's understandable for everyone else. Otherwise, just shout out, okay? Just shout out if it's not, not clear. But I'll talk about some new words in this, this small paragraph because it was quite, um, it was very, very, very well written actually. Um, so that might be, it might be quite difficult to, to pick up. Um, 
looks anxious. To be anxious. What does this m word mean? Anxious. Agitated. A bit like agitated, yeah? So, uh, a bit agitated. Uh, too embarrassing. Nervous. Nervous. Nervous, yeah, yeah. Ac to be anxious or to be nervous is very, very similar. So, she looked nervous. She didn't have much confidence. She wasn't confident. She was I'm not. Uh, we are not relaxed. Not relaxed and worried is another way, yes, of saying it. She was. She looked worried. Yeah. Worried. Yes. Worried. Um, okay. So that's that's anxious. Let's mm. let's go back. Um, her small mouth you hear pinched. Me? Who's that? Pinched was she? Uh, closed. No. One second. Uh, someone said, uh, "Can you hear me?" Was that uh, Dia? This uh, other guy. Closed. Yes. One, one second. Uh, Dia, can you hear us? Yeah, 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 sure. Perfect. Nice to speak with you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here too. Cool. Okay, we've spoken before, I think, yeah? So I'm, I think we're familiar. Um, did you understand what we talked about so far? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, great. Um, and uh, I think... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay? Okay, go uh, on, go on. I keep sorry, listening. Sorry. And Thomas, can you hear us now? Is it okay? Uh, I can he hear you, but do you hear me? Now it's much better. Really, really good. Yeah, so yeah. now it's a lot better. Okay, so uh, what did you understand so far from that text? Um, I think everything. You understood the gist of most things, at least. Okay, cool. In that case, uh, let's go back. Um, every button on, her, on the of her pink, oh, pinched. Sorry, yeah. Uh, friend, pinched. Pinched. I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. So, it. Pinched. She's pinched. To pinch something is to go like that. To, for example, I'm pinching my skin. That's pinching. But her mouth was pinched. Basically, she didn't look very relaxed. So, uh, in this case, uh, her small mouth pinched and smiling. It's really. Like that, yeah. So it's she's really not serious. very happy, very serious, yeah. Because of course she's got to put put on some kind of image, yeah. So pinched, close together. That's to pinch. When you okay. put the when you put the thumb and the, the index together, no, the put. Yeah, you you pinch something. So to pinch your skin, you 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 do that like a, like I showed you, yeah. So uh, wait. Yeah, Polish. Yeah, you say Polish. Yeah, Polish. Pinch. And uh, here. Yeah. Okay. And what is tweet? Sorry, teacher. Tweet. I'll show you uh, quickly on the internet. One second. So pinched. Uh, sorry, tweet is a type of um, style. It was very popular in the UK maybe several years ago. <laughs> so this this kind of is tweet. Yeah. Really old clothes. Okay. So that's tweed. Um, it was very popular in the UK. Now it's it's actually increasing in popularity even amongst young people. Yeah. So for example, if you see this this guy, this is just a type of material. Yeah. So tweed. Okay. Okay. So in this context, uh, sh sh it was pink tweed. Yeah. So pink tweed suit. Does everyone know what a suit is? Uh, so this is like uh, um, like like. like, like, this. like yeah, it's it's a t-shirt and jeans together. Well, jeans, no, uh, I don't know how to say. Yeah, when do you when do you use um, a tie, a very formal uh, clothes, not. Yeah. So business wear, things that you go to a job interview in. Yeah. Very okay. formal clothing. In the pictures you can see, you should be able to see this. A business tier. Business attire, yeah, business attire. Business, business attire. Yeah, business clothing, yeah, so th professional things. Clothes. That's a suit. Uh, a suit, a, a jacket, trousers, a, a shirt and tie. Okay. Yep. An employee suit. Uh, Sorry? An employee suit. An employee suit, did you say? Okay, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, you can just say suit. You don't have to add anything. You can just say a suit. Um, and in her case, she was wearing a pink tweed suit. And here are some examples of what she would be wearing. 
Yes, yeah, so that's the kind of cl clothing she she would wear. Okay, so uh, every hair on her head is combed precisely into place. Can someone translate this into other words? So uh, maybe Moises, could you translate this from English to English? Uh, well, uh, this part uh, try to say that she mm, she. Uh, she's she's dressing very careful to, with uh, a very little detail. It's it's very careful. So uh, she's she's wearing clothes and her hair style with much careful, not a uh, very uh, like say for example very precisely. Yep. Everything's perfect. Yeah, she, Everything about yeah, her everything is perfect. perfect. They didn't yeah. even let one hair not be combed into space. So basically, what is your image so far? Um, if you landed in this country and you get collected by this young woman, what would you be thinking so far? What would this? What would your first impressions of this country be from this? So Rosa, what do you say? Can you repeat the question, please? Okay, so if you arrived in this country and someone collected you wearing this kind of clothing and having the hair perfect, everything was perfect, what impression would you have of this country that you've landed in? It's a polite country. Yeah, okay, so you say it's polite. Anything else? Um, Alejandro. I know uh, the people is, is very shy. Shy, yeah? Shy. Shy. Okay. Shy. Shy. Vincenzo, do you have another one? I don't know why shy. Why he say he say he said shy? For what? Which reason? For what reason? Uh, I don't know because. Um, for example, her small mouth pinching um, smile because she was, uh, she had nervous. And she's anxious, yeah? It's already said, so she looks anxious, meaning she's maybe worried, yeah? She could be worried about meeting someone else, yeah? So oh. anxious, she's worried about something. Um, why would she be anxious? Well, maybe because she suffered from nerves. She's, she's nervous, but what is she nervous about? Do you think she's nervous just about meeting someone? Um, uh, I think, uh, hi teacher, I hi, am coming middle. How are you? Oh, perfect. Nice to speak with you again, Cosmo. Um, nice to meet you too. Hi, everybody. Uh, I want to say um, this woman may maybe uh, are waiting for the arrival of uh, of the people who write this article, but uh, because she is waiting, so she feel very nervous. You would be, wouldn't you? Yeah. So at the time, she probably didn't know that they were journalists. They were undercover journalists. Uh, but you, you would be nervous about. I don't know if you're nervous about meeting new people and things, but it can be quite uh, nerve-wracking sometimes. Yeah. So, uh, Cosmo, sorry. Uh, introduce yourself very, very quickly. Just say your name in the correct pronunciation and where you come from. I remember I remember myself but just for the others. Uh, I am Cosmo. I'm from China. Cool. Okay. So Cosmo from China. Uh, we spoke yesterday I remember, yeah? Was it yeah. yesterday or the day before? I think yesterday. But this but this is not the first one I uh, the class I joined. With me? I joined I joined your class before. Yeah. I thought so, yeah. So, okay, so, uh, Cosmo, we're talking about North Korea. I'm not sure if you gathered. Um, do you, what do you know about this, yeah? So, what do you know about it? Um, actually, um, I don't know too much about this country, but I just know, um, I don't think this country have a better relationship with, with my country. A bad or you know, bad? Bad. Okay. Bad. Because because I merely I merely saw uh, news about about uh, South Korea in in the television. 
Okay, so would you say maybe the governments are close? Yeah, so the governments are close. Mm, yeah, maybe the government uh, is very close. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is interesting. So, um, yeah, because in the, at the moment in the West, it's it's heavily reported. Yeah. So every day, for, this week, for example, every day we've heard something new, like a, a new threat, and it's reported a lot, a hell of a lot. Uh, so this is why, uh, uh, yeah, I chose chose the topic, and they're talking about going to this country to visit. Um, and this this journalist was an undercover a journalist telling about her experience in this in this country. So, uh, Cosmo, yes. Yeah? So. Uh, yeah. Did you understand that we read the first paragraph? Yeah. So, in terms of language, did you understand? Um. Mm, I think uh, most of the the words I understand, but I and just uh, I, uh, I, w I want the teacher just uh, give give me um, give me a uh, many idea of how this. Uh, this uh, paragraph uh, tell us in my opinion this is uh, maybe a guidance woman are waiting for the arrival of this journalist okay so you think she knows it's a journalist yeah okay interesting yeah so we'll read on we'll see if we can infer anything else from it okay so um so you're saying that's why she's probably really, really looking perfect, yeah? She looks very, very perfect. Everything about her, yeah? So uh, it's very precise. Um, could she be, could she be standoffish? Standoffish, yeah, this could. This is a good word, yeah? Standoffish. <laughs> is that okay? Okay, so standoffish. What does standoffish mean, whoever said that? It 